every fantasy army in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2 is going to be fighting over the city of Troy here. For the first fantasy army, we are going to have every LEGO unit, including LEGO Knights, LEGO Halberds, LEGO Muskets, and LEGO Archers. Next up, we've got the Lord of the Rings armies, who have Elvish Archers, Elvish Swordsmen, as well as some Goblin Archers here. Or Orcs, I suppose. They are led by none other than Sauron himself. Then we have the Warhammer 40k factions, who of course have some Warhammer Dwarves. They also have themselves some of these like Space Marine dudes. I don't know Warhammer all that well to be completely honest with you. Uh, they've also got themselves some of these Sorcerer dudes. And finally way over here, uh, they've got some Imperial Guardsmen. Last, but honestly, probably the strongest is going to be the Star Wars units, who have to have the least amount of troopers because they're kind of overpowered. We've got 501st Clone Troopers. Uh, we've also got ourselves some Storm Troopers here. We've never been able to use these guys before in battle, so that'll be pretty cool. Uh, and then we should have, oh yeah, here they are, the B1 Battle Droids over here. And they're all being led by Yoda, as well as Obi-Wan Kenobi, who is somewhere over here. I've lost sight of a lot of these units. Either way, these four armies will clash within the city, and only one will stand triumphant. Be sure to hit that like button if you do enjoy this video, subscribe with notifications on if you haven't already, and comment down below who do you think is going to win? Warhammer, Lego, Lord of the Rings, or Star Wars? What's up gamers, I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton. So thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. Alrighty then boys, let's go ahead and press start right here. Now there are some limitations to Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2, which kind of sucks. Uh, basically, you're only able to have four different teams on the battlefield. So that's why we're only doing four armies. There are other armies I would have liked to have added, uh, such as uh, there is the Mario armies. We've got Koopa Troopers, Goombas, you know, Toadstools, etc. Uh, there's also um, Marvel armies in here, you know, some of the Avengers and stuff like that. That would have been fun. Uh, Left 4 Dead 2 has some different units in here. It would have been cool to add more. I'm really hoping at some point the developers do add more army teams uh, so you can have grander scale armies and stuff like that. That would be really, really nice. But I chose the uh, four that had the most units for them. The Lego units, uh, there are four of them. And then there's a lot more Warhammer units that I wasn't able to add because of restrictions. Uh, there's a lot more Star Wars units too. Uh, and then there are more Lord of the Rings units as well. But again, there are restrictions uh, in the game itself. So, you know, had to do what we had to do. But I'm glad that we are going to have some pretty awesome battling going on here. Either way, here comes the Orcs. Uh, they are going to be fighting against some of these Dwarves from Warhammer 40k first and foremost. Uh, Warhammer is one of those things where every time I do a video on it, I'm so lost and confused, but I love the very, very limited lore I actually know from Warhammer. Uh, and I, I do love the Total War Warhammer games. They are very, very fun. Although it did drive away Total War from the historical setting, which saddens me, but that's more of uh, you know, Creative Assembly's fault than anyone else's. Uh, but yeah, I, I like Warhammer, I just don't know a heck of a lot about it. Either way, these uh, orcs right here are, well, they're getting killed extremely quickly. They are getting absolutely demolished by these dwarves. Absolutely demolished. Okay, but we do have other fighting going on as well. So we've been, oh wait, what's this? Oh, more dwarves versus more orcs over this way. That's funny, they're actually in here too. That's pretty cool. Um, but we also have clashing with the Lego units and the Star Wars units, or at least according to the 
unit counts we do and let's see over here yes we do indeed have clashing uh, so it looks like the stormtroopers are going up against the Lego swordsmen over here. And again, the Star Wars units had to be heavily nerfed in terms of their numbers. There's only about like 300 total uh, Star Wars units on the battlefield because any more than that, and they would absolutely sweep every single army that came to them. I mean, look at this. They've already got 2,500 kills on the battlefield. That's insane. Uh, and their stormtroopers are just going absolutely nuts over here. Um, I don't know where the rest of them went off to, though. Maybe they went, like, this way? I'm not totally sure. But the Star Wars units, man, they're, they're going to get some serious kills during this whole thing. Uh, and I think it should be pretty fun, pretty cool, and uh, it should result in some destruction. Oh, here's Yoda, actually. Yoda's going ham right now. He's getting in there. He's helping out. I don't know where Obi-Wan went. Also, don't know where the 501st Troopers went or the Battle Droids went off to. Uh, so maybe they did, in fact... Oh, they might have gone against the Guardsmen. Oh, there is some blood over here. Oh, yeah. The Imperial Guardsmen over here. Looks like they ended up killing the 501st Troopers. The Imperial Guardsmen are, like, a decently weak unit, as they should be. They're supposed to be, like, cannon fodder or whatever. Um, but it looks like they did wipe out... Uh, the Star Wars units over here, and I'm guessing Obi-Wan as well was killed by them, as I just don't see any trace of him. Uh, so right now, the only Star Wars units left alive are the Stormtroopers and Yoda over there. Although, again, they haven't lost a unit in a very long time, and they've got 6,000 kills, so Star Wars is still extremely powerful. Let's head back over to Lord of the Rings. Alright, so I'm seeing some crazy, like, flashes. Oh, and that's probably these uh, Chaos Marines, or whatever they are, fighting against a whole lot of Lord of the Rings elves right now. Elvish bowmen who are basically having all of their shots rebounded right back into them. So that is not exactly going great for them. No siree. Where is Sauron when you need him? Um, I, I by the way, was just uh, re-listening to the Lord of the Rings Fellowship of the Ring on um, Audible and <laughs> such a good book. I love it. I'm almost done. I've got like two hours left or something like that. Um, but my god, I love Tolkien, man. He, he is truly an inspiration for basically all of the franchises that we are seeing in this video. Well, minus the, minus the Lego, I would say. But clearly Warhammer uh, and Star Wars took a lot from Lord of the Rings, uh, as well as like Harry Potter and stuff like that. I mean, so much is taken from Lord of the Rings. He truly is the godfather of uh, fantasy, high fantasy. Even Game of Thrones, man. I was watching the new uh, Game of Thrones show, the the House of Dragons, right? Um, so much of Game of Thrones is uh, taken from J.R.R. Tolkien. Um, but, of course, I, I mean, that's that's how it is. People take inspiration from the greats, and it's how, how it should be, you know? Um, either way, Lord of the Rings, uh, Sauron over here is going ham against both dwarves as well as some chaos marines having a having a real great time over here he is just absolutely swiping them getting multiple kills per shot but he is getting very very bloodied at the moment i have a feeling sauron might be going down at some point here i mean he can only hold out for so long his armies are not with him the elves and the orcs are just uh not pulling through at the moment it seems like warhammer is just kind of clobbering him by the way the Star Wars armies currently have 33,000 kills, and they only have 91 troops remaining. So, Star Wars stays winning. Absolutely. That's insane. Um, and Sauron, I believe, just fell. R.I.P. to the Lord of the Rings. Um, but he's still got plenty of uh, Elvish archers and stuff like that. Where are the Elvish spearmen? Dude, I had a bunch of Elvish spearmen. Uh, oh, are these? Yeah, these are the spearmen. Okay, the spearmen are kind of still outside the gates here. Uh, but it looks like they might be coming in over here. Yeah, here we go. Elvish Spearmen fighting against a bunch of these dwarves and stuff like that over this way. Uh, so, Lord of the Rings army is still involved, although Warhammer seems to be kind of causing some troubles for them. Yeah, Warhammer seems to be doing exceptionally well. Let's go check on the Star Wars armies. Oh, oh what is this? Oh, oh. My god, the Lord of the Rings and the Warhammer armies, are, they span, like, the entirety of the city right now in terms of their fighting. They are everywhere. My god, man. Holy smokes. All right, but let's go find these Lego men and see what they've been up to. Oh, we do have fighting over this way. Oh, it looks like more Lord of the Rings armies over here fighting against some of these Lego armies. We got Lego Musketeers over here, uh, as well as some Lego Halbudsmen fighting against the Elvish Archers right over this way. Archers do seem to be winning this a good bit. The Lego Soldiers 
Uh, while they are greatest in terms of numbers, they started with 400,000 soldiers. Uh, they are probably the weakest in terms of skill, I will say. All right, the uh, Star Wars units did finally lose. Oh, they're losing a couple. They're down to 89 troopers now from their 91 they had for a while. Um, oh, and that might be because they're getting flanked by some of these Warhammer sorcerers or whatever they are. Oh, yeah, they're down to 85 now. Stormtroopers, uh, as well as Yoda, ended up getting 64,000 kills, and they're still, of course, getting more kills right now. Uh, but they are surrounded currently on this tiny little peninsula. Um by both sorcerers from Warhammer as well as Lego Knights. Here's Yoda going absolutely ham right now on a whole stack of Lego Knights, soloing them basically. Well, there's a couple Stormtroopers in there with them, but they're not exactly doing all that much. Yeah, it seems like the Star Wars units are going to fall very soon in this battle. Uh, just from getting surrounded, these poor boys. Yeah, here come the sorcerers. Oh, and they're just zippity zapping these Stormtroopers, man. That's like the Tesla coil ability or whatever it is. So that's going to be not good. Yeah, Star Wars units down to 60. I mean, even though we nerfed them in terms of their numbers, they've still ended up getting almost 75,000 kills now, which is the second most. Warhammer is currently the most powerful though, uh, with 86,000 kills amongst their soldiers. Uh, but Star Wars is in close second with like a fraction of the number of soldiers that the Warhammer Troopers got. Uh, but we really did have to nerf Star Wars because I've run this before with a normal number of Star Wars units and they just board wipe immediately. The Star Wars units are far too powerful to allow to thrive. Either way, Yoda's still going ham despite being completely surrounded by Black Knights over here. Uh, it's, it's a brutal, brutal thing. 13 Star Wars units remain. We are witnessing the death of the Star Wars universe in high fantasy. Well, I guess it's more science fiction, but you know what I'm talking about. Uh, either way, yeah, they're dying out here. Six left, now five, now four. Uh, it's going to be the end of the Stormtroopers here, it looks like. And there we go, now only Yoda remains, and these Warhammer Sorcerers are going to just be able to come into the flanks of these knights who are going to charge them, which is good. Uh, so the Lego Knights will hopefully get some kills on some of these guys. I mean, there's still tons of these Lego Knights left alive. Um, and not all of them are focusing on Yoda, although Yoda is doing beastly things over here at the moment. Um, Yoda is single-handedly keeping it, keeping it real for the Star Wars units, keeping the Star Wars army uh, involved. Maybe Yoda can solo this and win? Maybe. Maybe, I don't think so, but anything is possible, am I right? Uh, either way, the LEGO units struggling for sure, but I mean, look at their army back here. They've still got so many units back here. They've also still got so many units over here. Like, the LEGO armies are the most numerous. They are the weakest, but they're the most numerous, and they are still coming in. Here's the Lord of the Rings army. They are clearing out these LEGO boys, though, so it is definitely tough. It's tough. Just want to check in on the Warhammer units over this way real schwick. Uh, and it seems like they are still fighting the Lord of the Rings units over here. They've yet to break through uh, these cursed men. Uh, and, you know, they're taking some serious damage over here. Yeah, these guys aren't like gods or anything like that. Uh, they can definitely die pretty easily. They've only got 3,500 health. Uh, the elves, of course, have less health, but they do have more units than them. Uh, the Lord of the Rings units started with, like... I think it was like 300,000 units. Uh, the Lego units started with 400,000. The Warhammer units started with, I think like 150,000. And then the Star Wars units started with like 500 and yet the Star Wars units still were beasts. Oh no, Yoda died! The Star Wars units have zero troopers remaining. Okay, so Star Wars is the first out. Um, you know, maybe I should have doubled the Star Wars units or something like that, but like, I, I've, I've tried this a few different times, and every time the Star Wars units just, like, completely won. Because they have laser guns that do crazy damage, and they have good health on top of that. So it's it's very difficult to balance the Star Wars units. It's very, very difficult. Okay, either way, these Elvish Archers are doing their absolute darndest over here. Um, who are these guys? Who are these guys? Oh, these are more dwarves and uh, sorcerers and stuff like that. They might come in the flanks of the elves over that way, but... What about the uh, Lord of the Rings units over here? Okay, it looks like these guys are still standing. We've still got more goblins or orcs. Uh, and the elvish spearmen seem, for the most part, dead. Oh, no, there's still more down here. They're just kind of caught up uh, in the whole thing of it. Oh, there's also elvish archers over here. There's elvish, ar elvish archers freaking everywhere, man. 
Okay, these, these Chaos Marines are also pretty powerful, but they're, again, still killable. They've only got 8,000 health. That That is definitely killable, and there's less of them than there are Lord of the Rings units and stuff like that. Um, although, right now, the, the Warhammer armies are coming in and destroying the uh, <laughs> Lord of the Rings armies. Why don't we go ahead and do a little time-lapse of the Space Marines coming in and stuff like that, uh, and we can watch as the Lord of the Rings armies slowly dissolve here. And boys, the Lord of the Rings struggle bus continues. They're almost completely wiped out in the back lines here, facing these Chaos Marines and stuff like that. They are suffering. Even the dwarves are really good, man. Wait, the dwarves have 6,000 health? I thought they were a footman unit. But the dwarves are way better. Dude, okay. I have to say, Lord of the Rings has done very well for themselves, all things considered. You know, like, <laughs> despite... Despite fighting a very powerful Warhammer enemy, I didn't quite realize how powerful these Warhammer guys were. They've gotten a lot of kills, the Lord of the Rings boys. I did not mean to put that marker down. Might be. Shouldn't affect the battle, though. Um, yeah, now I just feel bad, man. That, at least, like, almost all of the Lord of the Rings units are ranged, and I think that helped them out quite a bit. Because the most of the Warhammer units that I put in here are not ranged, except for the Imperial Guardsmen, who are kind of poop anyway. Um, alright, so it's it's gonna be up to the Legos. It, it's gonna be up to the Lego men to win this, I think. Oh no, there's still a ton of Lord of the Rings soldiers over here! Oh my god! Okay, so I think currently there's 42,000 Warhammer troopers left. There's 160,000 Lego troopers left, and there's 164,000 Lord of the Rings troopers left, I believe. Um, so it's gonna be up to the Lego troopers or the Lord of the Rings troopers to end up winning this thing. I always forget just how many LEGO Troopers there are, boy! Alright, why don't we go ahead and do a little time-lapse of the Battle of the Gate between the Lord of the Rings and the LEGO Men. Alright, it seems as though uh, the Imperial Guardsmen actually ended up flanking the end of the Elvish army right there. And the Elves have pretty much been extinguished minus a few soldiers over here who are getting overwhelmed pretty good and now it's Legos versus Warhammer to end this entire thing kind of crazy bro kind of nutso um, yeah Warhammer ended up being like a lot more powerful than I ever would have thought <laughs> I, I don't think I ever <laughs> thought that Warhammer would be this powerful I thought the doors were crap to be honest but nope they are not Nope, so Warhammer is basically going to win this thing unless the LEGO men pull out a miracle. Why don't we time-lapse the ending? And there we have it, fellas. The Warhammer boys ended up winning this whole thing. Ugh, there are bodies everywhere. All over the city, there are bodies. Um, if we do this again, we're definitely going to rebalance. Maybe we'll add some different factions instead of like the Lego Boys. We'll buff the Star Wars or something like that. It could be kind of fun. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below what other kind of tournaments would you like to see in the future. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.